Hi everyone! I hope you're having fun at the Dress for Success event. My name is Bonnie Fisher and I'm a Korean Academic Advisor here at JMU and today I'm going to talk to you a bit about capsule wardrobes. So I know I can't see you, but as a group I'd love for you to raise your hand if you've ever walked, looked at your closet or been getting ready for school or work and thought, I have nothing to wear. So again, I can't see you all, but I'm guessing that if at least a few of you raised your hands. This problem of having a really full closet, but not having anything to wear, is the problem that I'm going to try to address today for you all. So in the United States and in our culture, we shop and we shop and we buy and we buy. Something's on sale, something's a good price at Forever 21, and we don't often think about what we're putting into our closets or how we're cultivating them or how much we actually have. We think that with more clothing and more shoes and more accessories comes more choice and more freedom, when in reality, I found it's kind of the opposite. When we have too much, too much clothing, too many shoes, so much excess, it's really hard to determine what our style is. And so what happens is we go to our closet, we think, I don't like any of this, I have nothing to wear, and we end up in exercise clothing all day. Now, I'm not <laughs> saying that you can't walk around in your yoga pants and everything, but if we own all this clothing and we're not wearing it, we're choosing exercise clothing over it, there's kind of a disconnect there, and it, it might mean that something's wrong. So as a solution to this problem of I have nothing to wear even though I own so much, there's this great idea that emerged called the capsule wardrobe. So the original person who came up with this, it's kind of up for grabs. There are a lot of different capsule wardrobe sites and really cool resources out there. But the one I found was Courtney Carver, and she started something called Project 333. And what this meant is that she had 33 items for three months. That's 33 clothing items for three months, hence the name Project 333. So this, a capsule in general, includes three main things. Clothing, shoes, and accessories. Traditionally, a capsule wardrobe does not include things like pajamas, um, workout wear, different things like that. It's just the main capsule of the clothing that you wear each and every day. And while some may think, you know, a capsule is superficial or maybe it'll complicate your life because it has guidelines and different kind of rules that go along with it, I have found in my experience that it really has simplified my life in such a huge way. And I don't think it's superficial because when we take something that takes up such a huge part of our day, like getting ready in the morning, and we simplify it, you can truly change your life. I mean, if we think about it, we're all going to work to do something, to better the world, to help people, to change things, to do something great. And if we spend a majority of our time or a majority of time at home stressing about what to wear, it really takes away from all that goodness and energy that we can bring to the workplace. So when you simplify something like your wardrobe, again, it impacts so many different areas of your life. So you all, as new kind of people entering the workforce, whether you've got a great internship or you've got interviews coming up or you know what you're going to do after graduation and you're headed to the work world, you all have this wonderful opportunity to rebuild your wardrobe. And while this may not exactly be a capsule wardrobe for you all, it is a really intentional time for you all to think about how your clothing is going to change and how it's going to represent you now that you're kind of shifting from college to career. So let me tell you a short story of how I kind of happened upon this whole capsule wardrobe idea. So I'm 25 now, so not too long ago, I was transitioning from grad school into you know, the work world, into my career, just like you all. And I had this really unique challenge um, of developing my wardrobe to take me from college to career. I had a lot of what I like to call college clothing um, that was so appropriate for undergrad and my college life and hanging out with friends, but it wasn't exactly office wear. So what I did, unfortunately, is I went out and I bought all of these clothes that I thought were professional and I thought a new professional was supposed to have. A blazer, a pencil skirt, a bunch of slacks, some tops, some cardigans, things that I had seen on Pinterest or I'd seen online, like, okay, yes, this is what a young professional wears to work. But what happened 
was I hated all of it. I'd spent hundreds of dollars on clothing that I didn't even like. It wasn't my style, it wasn't comfortable. It had nothing to do with how I really felt I wanted to represent myself. And it just made me so confused and upset because not only had I wasted a lot of money, but now I had all of these clothes and I was standing in front of this massive pile of things like, why don't I have anything to wear? Why am I so upset? And why am I spending all of this time and all of this energy just trying to get ready for work in the morning? So what I did was did some online research and I found Courtney Carver in Project Baby 33 and I found this awesome blog called Unfancy. She puts together a 37 item capsule wardrobe. And there's, there are steps involved to building a wardrobe like this. So the first step, go through what you have. Pull out every item of clothing that you own, all of it. Dump it on your bed, get it out in your living room floor, pull it all out. Pick up each item and ask yourself the following series of questions. Ask yourself, does this item fit me? Does this item fit my lifestyle? Do I love this item? And is this item true to my personal style and what I feel I represent in the world? Your clothes need to pass this test. If you say no to that series of questions for an item, let it go. Donate it, pass it along to someone else. Remember that an item that doesn't spark joy for you and doesn't fit you or your lifestyle might be perfect for someone else. And by holding on to it and keeping it in your closet, you're kind of keeping it from that other person, right? So just let it go. If it doesn't pass that series of questions, remember, do I like this? Does it fit my lifestyle? Does it physically fit me? Um, and does it match my style of who I think I am? Okay. So after you've sorted everything, now it's time to go through and pull out this seasonal item. So again, right now, not wearing shorts, so all my shorts are packed away. Pull out the things that don't make sense for this season um, or for this time in your life and gently put them away until you need them. Okay, so now with what you've got left, you can start to build your capsule wardrobe. For me, that's anywhere from 33 to 37 items. For other people I know, that have a, they have a 10 item wardrobe or a 40 or 50 item wardrobe. The number isn't as important as the items that go into it. So now that you've built your wardrobe, look at everything you have and really look for the gaps. So you love everything that you have, right? And you feel like it really fits you in your lifestyle, but maybe it's a lot of kind of weekend wear, um, or maybe some of the pieces are professional, but there are just a few key things missing, like a jacket or a pair of slacks, or just something to pull everything together so that you can really fill in those holes or gaps that you see, even though you already pulled from the items that you have. So this means, instead of making the mistake I did, going out and spending hundreds of dollars on things I didn't even like. You're building on things that you already love and you can go out and just buy a few key items, maybe just three, that will enhance your wardrobe so much and work with everything that you already have. This is gonna save you so much time and so much money. And remember, you don't have to find these things brand new. Maybe some of them will be. Maybe you wanna buy a really well-made investment piece that was made, you know, it's environmentally safe and sound and all that good stuff. But also, shop secondhand. So many of my awesome things are found secondhand. And it was so much easier to shop that way because I knew exactly what I was looking for. If you're walking to a store thinking, okay, I need a pair of brown boots and a pair of green slacks, awesome. If you do that in a thrift store too, it just narrows everything down. You're not sifting through hundreds and hundreds of clothes. You're looking for something really specific in your size and in your style. I promise you that shopping this way will be so much less stressful and it's actually really fun. Okay, so then after the shopping is done, you'll have created this wardrobe that suits you, suits your lifestyle, and everything that you're going into. You can make it work for work, and you can make it work at home, and you're not feeling like you have these two separate wardrobes of, here's what I wear to work, and that's the professional me, and here's the at-home me. I found that I'm able to combine my pieces so well, and when I go to work, I feel so confident, and I feel like me, and I feel comfortable, and I'll tell you, I get way more compliments in my wardrobe just having 33 items than I ever did before having hundreds and hundreds of items that I didn't truly love. Now, if you want to take this idea even further, now that you've got one wardrobe put together and all of your other seasonal items put away, do this every three months or every season depending on where you're living. So for me, that's obviously 
fall, winter, spring, summer. I recreate my wardrobes each time. And majority of the pieces are pieces that I already own and I'm just rotating and reusing and putting away and pulling out. Um, but every once in a while, I'll find a few pieces that I really need to replace or there's a gap that I just didn't know existed before. And you, after a year of that, you'll have created four capsule wardrobes that are so intentional and you, you'll have taken your time shopping. You're not spending a bunch of money all at once on random things you don't like. It's a slow, intentional way to build an intentional wardrobe that works for you and works for your life. For more resources on this, because I'm certainly not the expert on capsule wardrobes, visit Project 333 by Courtney Carver. Unfancy is another great blog that talks about these different capsule wardrobes. Or just search capsule wardrobe in general. Get some great ideas, get inspired, um, and good luck with this. I know that you can do it. It seemed really challenging to me when I first came across the idea, but now I can't imagine my life any other way. All right. Thank you all for listening to me um, and watching this video. I hope you enjoy the rest of the Dress for Success event. Have an awesome day.